times that the Lycoming Service Bulletin, I think it's 1014. Yep. Specifically points out towards the end is when you switch from ashless dispersant and it's the cleaning agent. Yep. So if you wanna go into that at all. Sure, no, that's a great point. Yeah. So I know we're talking a little chemistry here. This is kind of the fun stuff for me. So stop me if we're going too deep, but um, the ashless dispersant is really what makes these oils work, right? We talked about lead salts. We talked a little bit around, you know, byproducts of combustion and the acid that can build up and those types of things. So ashless dispersants actually help to try to neutralize some of the acids, okay? That's why you also have very prescriptive oil drains, right? So 50 hours with a filter, 25 without. Another way you can look at it is using used oil analysis. We're a big believer in used oil analysis because that's like a, essentially a blood test for your oil. So you know if you're generating more metal, less metal, the more metal you put into an oil, it acts as a catalyst. It makes it oxidize faster. So that, those are some of the reasons why, and also back to the ashes dispersant angle of it, dispersants hold things in suspension. So the whole idea is, is they, they're held there until a filter or until you drain it out. So that is what AD, so you see our type A100 AD, you got that. Then you also have um, the XC that we call out ashes dispersant on the back and on all the cases.